Previously on Phoenix Wright, Spirit of Justice. <gasps> I know what. Oh my god, I know what it is. He couldn't have seen crap because the curtain. I forgot about the curtain. I don't know about trials in your country, but we refrain from. Really? What? Oh my god! In accordance with the law, I invoke the Defense Culpability Act against the defense. Let's see that bad ending. Scored finds the accused Maya Fey and the defense Phoenix Wright. Both guilty. Oh yeah! Guilty again. Return to title. Nice knowing you. And now back to the present. Okay, I'm back. Alright, so I've been looking through this and I'm at a loss for words, but I mean, I think I must be right about the curtain, but maybe the best thing I can think is maybe I just have the wrong statement. So what else do we have in here? I use my binoculars to spy. Okay, well, it could be this one too, couldn't it? What was the first one I tried? Let's try this one. Objection! There we go. That's what it was. Your Majesty. I had my doubts about this bushy bearded witness, but now I know he's full of shit. He's full of it. He looks like he's full of it. He looks like he's drowning in it. What? You ain't just judging me solely on my bodacious beard, are you? Not at all, Mr. Innes. <laughs> it's much more than your sketchy appearance. It's your sketchy testimony. Ooh. His testimony, you say? Man, I'm glad we're not doing seances anymore. Yeah, recall how the inner sanctum was that day. Now, I recall how it was that day. Specifically, that it was completely enclosed by the ritual curtain. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, yes, I believe you're right. What the hell's going on here? The curtain would have completely blocked the witness's view from Mount Pony Pony. Therefore, he couldn't possibly have seen the murder happen. Case closed. You're done. There's nothing you could possibly say to explain this. There is nothing. Mr. Imus, have you been knowingly making false statements to this court? What, was there like a mirror? <laughs> you got me! I got you, alright. The witness will lower his voice. Oh, I didn't actually see the accused herself. What? What's that supposed to mean? Let me set the record straight, I beg you. Can I raise my voice again now? Okay. Well, more testimony, like we have any reason to believe any of this. But hey. The night of the murder, amended. Yes. Gotta make those amendments, you know. So this is your first amendment, here we go. Which you don't have in this country, by the way. Uh, okay. I saw their shadowy silhouettes projected against the ritual curtain. The figures were created by the light of the full moon on that clear and still night. She was just a shadow, but I could tell it was the accused, reverse gripping that dagger. Uh, I don't think so. Let me see the poster again. I was looking at this before. Um, details. Hmm, yeah. I could have sworn there was a picture somewhere that depicted the moon as being, like, on the other side of the mountain. Like, how would you s You know what, never mind. Let's just do this here. That's right. I could see what was going on by the shadows projected on the ritual curtain. In the future, Mr. Imus, I'd rather you offer up accurate testimony from the start. Yes, Judge. Yes, indeed. Forgive me, my main man, Mr. Magistry. Chalk it up to my fuzzy memory. It's not all that's fuzzy. I hate to see this guy's balls. Though we saw the shadows, it is still valuable testimony. Well, until I break it, that is. Mm. Ugh, got a granola bar stuck in my teeth. What are we gonna do now, Nick? Uh, all I can think of is to look for inconsistencies between the actual right and what Mr. Innes says he saw. Now then, the defense may cross-examine the witness once more. Well, here we go. Okay, so... I saw the shadowy silhouettes project against the ritual curtain. Did you now? So what you saw were simply shadows. 
That's right. Those shadow figures on that bright white curtain. They showed through plain as day. I could see everything that happened. But Miss Faye and Abbott and me were at the top of a mountain late at night. The only light up there was coming from four small lanterns, which were around them, by the way. Well, I guess they could still cast shadows, though, you know, sort of. How could the shadows have been projected that clearly onto the curtain? No wonder people harp on you lawyers. You're always so dang skeptical. The lanterns weren't the only source of light, dummy, you know? There was the moon! The figures were created by the light of the moon! Let me look at the, okay, alright, this, I have a, I'm telling you, I know I saw this somewhere. Wait, let me just read the description. Oh, oh, there we go, currently held when the moon is directly over the summit of Mount Pony Pony. It's directly over them, it ain't casting no shadow. There ain't no such thing as a 12 o'clock shadow, man. You saw silhouettes projected by the moonlight. Sorry. But that's just not possible. What do you mean? That's not possible that it was totally possible, dude. That's impossible. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need a logical least translation on that. Well, let me tell you. Let's take a look at this rights guide, shall we, Mr. Imus? The right is held when the moon is directly over the summit of Mount Pony Pony. Dude, dude, dude. He's done. He has to be. So if the moon was shining from the west, any shadows would have been cast eastward. But Mr. Imus was standing to the west of the inner sanctum on Mount Pony Pony! Oh, holy mother! <laughs> holy mother of God, Mary, and Jesus! That's right, Jesus! Our witness here couldn't have seen any shadowy figures on that curtain! So put on those boots and start cleaning! No way! <laughs> Perhaps it was the sacred flames of the lanterns that cast the shadows he saw. I'm afraid not. I inspected them during my investigation, but the flames were too small to cast the crisp, distinct figures that Mr. Imus claims to have so probably seen. But I did see those silhouettes, really. It's starting to sound like a slime foot. But how could he, Nick? Maybe he was someplace where they were visible. Whoa, um... Your Majesty? Your Mr. Imus really did see those shadows. It brings a brand new fact to light. And that would be... Are we sure he really saw them? The brand new fact that comes to light if Mr. Imus really did see the shadows is... He was somewhere else. He wasn't where he claimed to be at the time of the murder. I don't want him to have seen it. This guy's weird. <laughs> no, okay, it's fine. He's kind of cool, I suppose. Um, doot doot doot. Oh, then where do you propose the witness was? I ain't proposing to nobody. Some place where he could have seen the shadow figures naturally. Wait, you mean right there inside? No. None of the mountains east of the inner sanctum are close enough for a good view. There's only one place he could have clearly seen the shadows from. And where might that be? This is where Mr. Imus was at the time of the murder. Plaza of Devotion? No. The High Priest's home? No. The Inner Sanctum? Yes. Mr. Imus was at the Inner Sanctum, just outside the curtain on the east side. It's the only place from which he could have seen the shadowy figures. Mm hmm. Really? Wow, I didn't even think of that. Well, it's a good thing I did because the other two options were too stupid to pick. But wasn't the inner sanctum off limits to all but the victim and the accused? And the third party who was there, you mean? I get the feeling that's a subject Prosecutor Sadmati would rather not touch right now. Hmm? Thought you'd be more torn up about that. Oh, you mean. That's right! This witness was at the scene of the crime. Which means he is the mysterious third party we saw during the divination seance. He could be the one who dressed as Lady Kira and killed the High Priest. 
I don't know. I'm not buying this, though. I don't know. Like, just because... I mean, he said he saw something or whatever, but... No one but the two participants were allowed anywhere near the inner sanctum. I mean, isn't it also possible that he really did climb Pony Pony and he's just making all this other shit up? I don't know. There's plenty- I don't know, there's just too much room for doubt for me to say this for sure yet. No one but the two participants were allowed anywhere near the inner sanctum, you fool. And the only way up there are the stairs that start down at the Plaza of Devotion. So tell me, how do you propose the witness entered that sacred space? Oh, um, he must have, uh... I haven't thought that far ahead. <laughs> the sanctum has sheer cliffs on three sides and a steep towering rock face on the other. There's no way! No one could have made it there by climbing the faces of those cliffs. The faces of those cliffs. His Majesty speaks true. To say Mr. Imus was at such an inaccessible location is but a bit different to tarnish his credibility. Oof. Tongue twisters galore. Is that not right? Right. I wasn't at the Inner Sanctum. No sir, no how. At least I'm pretty sure I wasn't. <coughs> God damn, dude. And what about those silhouettes you claim to have seen? I'm starting to think I've been imagining things. What? Why does your voice keep changing? This is insane. This guy's like the owl. He doesn't know who he is. I knew we couldn't trust that lawyer. He's trying to frame the witness. Wee doggy! Peace, peace, I say. This is impossible. Unless I can show how he got to the inner sanctum. This looks like I'm trying to slander Mr. Emmis. I believe in you, Nick. Ra ra, sis boom ba, fight, fight, Phoenix, right. <laughs> Just look at the accused. That's really no shame. What's your problem, lady? Phoenix Wright is very trustworthy, I'll have you know. Yeah, lady. Shut up, lady. She's got some nerve for a criminal! How about that lawyer poisoned her mind? Please, Maya, you're only making it worse. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but it's probably best to keep it to yourself for now. But how can you? When they're screaming at you and you know they're wrong! You know! <laughs> anyway. I would advise the defense to think carefully before making any more sudden outbursts. I, it's, uh, uh, God, it's like you're walking up to somebody who's getting tortured by someone else, and you get mad at the person being tortured for screaming. If I wasn't the bad guy before, I definitely am now. Now, Mr. Emmis, I would like you to think back carefully before you testify next about where you were that night, and you better not lie this time. Man, oh man. Alright, well, here goes the next piece of the puzzle. I'm starting to think we're going to have a day two of investigation here, though. Just because it doesn't feel like we're learning anything here at all. I was never at the Inner Sanctum, I tell you. That much I'm sure of, even with the fuzzy memory. Besides, it would have been impossible to get there in the first place. Boy, you lawyers sure are scary. Hmm. Guess it might have been impossible for him to get to the inner sanctum like he claims, but... Now will you desist in trying to frame this innocent witness? I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I'd like to see you explain how I got up there. How I got up there. I don't know, maybe he teleported. Mr. Wright, is it now time to end these cross-examinations? No! I mean, yes! What did you say? Uh, can you rephrase the question? <laughs> a moment of despacito leads to 100 million years of torment. I'm not wrong, you know. It means that for each moment a sinner spends struggling to deny their sins, 100 million years of torment are added to their time in hell. It turns me on so much. Shrineism is the strictest religion ever. And just so you know, you've already accrued 200 million extra years. That's a lot of years! Plus the 500 million years they started with! That's 700 million years of torment! Sure, what's another 200 million, give or take? What's well, a big deal to me? I can't keep saying that the witness was there at the Inner Sanctum. If I can't prove it. The problem is, how am I gonna do that? He came from above, dude. I'm telling you, he came from above! 
But then that's going to turn out to not be true either once we... I don't know. I was never at the Inner Sanctum, I tell you. You say that now. Are you sure you weren't there? All I'm sure of is that you're deeply skeptical, dude. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, are all lawyers always like this? Most certainly. They always try to pin crimes on innocent witnesses, without any proof whatsoever. That's hilarious coming from you! They are no better than bacteria or viruses. Yikes, you mean he's contagious? Dude, he's gonna give me lawyeritis. <laughs> okay, this is getting ridiculous. Mm. Oh, back to the lizards now, are we? Oh boy. I forgot about that animation. Jeez. That much I'm sure of, even with a fuzzy memory. Do I even really need to press this? No, you're always running the risk of missing a funny line or something. You just said your memory was fuzzy. Sure did. It's a big deal, dude. I'll tell you what! Your testimony isn't very credible if your memory of the events is fuzzy. Oh, no worries there. My memory may be fuzzy, but I'm very clear on one thing. Here we go again. If you ask me whether or not I remember what I did that night, I'd say I do. In short, you are confident that your testimony is true. Is that correct, Mr. Imus? Ha <laughs> ha exactly. Guess you don't gotta be a judge for nothing. So in closing, I can clearly say that I was totally not there. Boy. Besides, it would have been impossible to get there in the first place. Alright. That's the one this is the one I'm concerned about. I wonder if it really was impossible for you to get to the inner sanctum. If you have something to say, just say it. Couldn't there have been another way to get there? A way that wouldn't attract attention. No, there isn't. Which means there is. <laughs> Perhaps the defense would share its theory with us. I don't even have a wild guess, let alone a theory, though. Well, actually, I do, but time to reach into my bag of bluffs. To reach the inner sanctum without attracting any attention. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say it. He fell from the sky. Maybe he fell from the sky? Ha 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 ha! The lawyer thinks he's a comedian now. I was wondering what crazy theory you would propose next. Well, defense, let's hear it. Okay! Mr. Amos could have, um, parachuted down. We already know the weather was clear and there was no wind to speak of. Perfect weather for skydiving, I'd say. Was I wrong? Now that you've been backed into a corner, your delusions grow ever more delusional. The inner sanctum is on a tiny ledge upon a sheer cliff over 2,000 meters tall. There's no building up there that he could have, you know, like, come out of, or... One misstep, and a skydiver would soon find themselves in the twilight realm. Yeah, I don't care how still the wind was. Even I couldn't have made that jump. Wait. What's this building on top of the sacred mountain? That is Royal Penitentiary number four. So it did. They did escape from a building, so they still could have come from up there. Oh right, Princess Rafa mentioned there was a prison up there. I kind of pictured it as more of like just a hole carved in the side of the mountain, but that's pretty cool. It's like there's really only two good places to put a prison like that, you know, on a remote island like Alcatraz or on top of a mountain. How do you get your prisoners up there anyway? By helicopter, but only with authorization from the Minister of Justice. He is the only one who can approve flights that pass over the inner sanctum. Wow. So if I'm flying Delta to Singapore and I just happen to pass over that, well, am I going to get shot down? Sure hope not. Might I also add defense? That no parachute or any other equipment necessary for skydiving have been found. Are you saying I flew down there by flapping my arms? No, I'm just saying maybe you could have used the cape. I may be an incredible dude, but even I'm not capable of that. 
wrong. Well, please add that statement to your testimony, Mr. Emmis. Really? It's not like I can fly through the air, either. Uh... <gasps> oh, dude! Dude. I know how he did it. I know how he did it! The frickin' prayer flags. Player flag? Did I just say player flags? I... Pfft, whatever. I got you. You stupid, 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 stupid. Mr. Remus is right, he couldn't have skydived down there without any gear. Well now, finally come around, have you? Now you see that I couldn't have possibly been there at the Inner Sanctum. Right. If you didn't have any gear, that is. What on earth are you talking about? That overreaction is a dead giveaway that I'm on the right track. Yeah, Phoenix has learned to sniff those out. <laughs> Take a look at this piece of evidence. Those are prayer flags, are they not? Yeah, I bet they have been sewn together to create one big banner. A banner that can also function like a parachute. Mm -hmm. Man, I was wondering what was up with that. The people of Karine are so used to seeing prayer flags that the police didn't even think twice about these flags during their investigation. This cannot be! Yes, it can be! The witness landed at the Inner Sanctum by using these prayer flags as a parachute. So there! Is that not right, Mr. Imus? There's no way out. It's surrounded. Uh, Mr. Imus? All this talk's jogged my memory. Yes, I guess I was there at the Inner Sanctum after all! Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, he's even more mad. Jeez Louise, man. As I suspected, there were three people there that night. You did it, Nick. You weren't wrong after all. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Mr. Imus. Mr. Imus. You were the one di disguised as Lady Kira that night, weren't you? What? No way, no how. Uh, it's like this. Oh. Oh yeah! I was only there at the intersect by accident. By accident? By boat? Exactly! And that thing's not a parachute, it's a homemade paraglider! Paraglider? You've been playing too much Breath of the Wild, you know that? Are you telling me you could fly using that patchwork mess of material? It may not look like much, but it's as sturdy as can be. I rode the wind like an eagle going higher and higher from my earthly launching point. And then something happened that forced me to land at the Inner Sanctum. So you just happened to land there. You expect me to believe that? Now, now, please calm your tits, Mr. Wright. I'm sorry, but... It's, it's all so full of crap! However, the fact that the witness was at the Inner Sanctum is crucial testimony indeed. And it certainly warrants further explication. Therefore, let's continue with more testicles. Let's do that. Man, oh man, was this like the fourth one now? Man. Why I was at the Inner Sanctum. That evening I was enjoying a trek through the night sky with my homemade paraglider. But just as Mount Pony Pony was drawing near, something terrible happened. An accident forced me to make an emergency landing at the Inner Sanctum. As I landed, I banged my head causing me to lose my memory. So you see, I ended up in the Inner Sanctum purely by accident. Okay... Mr. Imus, you failed to mention any of this during your pre-trial questioning. Can't be helped! I mean, I'm just remembering it now! Oh, why would we do this to ourselves? Continue such slipshod testimony and you will be cast into the hell of hangnails! Ooh! Well, you shall have hangnails grown and ripped out for 800 million years. <laughs> grown is one thing. Ripped out, that's the part I don't want to hear about. Oof. Looks like that. You know what? You know, grown and ripped out for 800 million years, but how often? Like, do you have to wait two weeks every time for the next one to 
pop in or whatever. Because at that point, well, you'd get one pulled 26 times a year. 26 times 800 million is, what, 160, 2 billion, 80 million times? Well, that's still quite a few times, though. Looks like that cop prosecutor is a mighty off guard. It's my chance to rip his case to shreds. Yes, sir, God. Yes, sir, Bob. Okay. Alright then. That evening, I was enjoying a trek through the night sky with my homemade paraglider. You're just floating around out there? You were enjoying a trek through the night sky with your homemade paraglider. You didn't go to pray? A devout grind like me can pray anywhere, even while flying through the sky. But I wouldn't recommend you try it. You're bound to end up dead. Mm -hmm. Paraglider? I didn't see anything like that. It's because of the ritual curtain. It blocked your view. You should have seen me majestically soaring between the mountains. Mr. Reed, I don't know what you're on, but you better get to the point and quick. An accident forced me to make an emergency landing. Hold it. The inner sanctum, here we go. What exactly was this accident you had? And if you say you crapped your pants, I swear to God. Good question. What was it again? Wind? Oh yeah, it was the wind. So you just broke wind. Not just any wind, but a sudden gale force wind. Made me lose control. The wind was strong enough to make you lose control? Like Eric Carmen in that 80s song? You got that right. It's a good song, by the way. Okay then, please add that to your testimony. Wow, just like that, huh? Gale force winds came out of nowhere, so I made an emergency landing at the Sanctum. I don't think so. In fact, don't we have proof? We have the weather report, right? There wasn't any such thing going on. There was a little wind in the seance vision, I noticed, but... Newspaper... Is this the one that has the... Yeah. Yeah, totally. Here you go, dude. I'm going to try this on for size. We have a saying in my country, Mr. Immis. One lie begets another. We didn't make that up, of course, because we don't have culture. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Well, let me just sit down and tell you about it. It means someone caught lying will lie again in an attempt to conceal their first lie. In other words, this current testimony is just a blatant lie you're telling to cover your tracks. What did you just say? Well, you claim gale force winds cause you to lose control. But this newspaper has the weather report for the day of the murder. And you know what it says? Absolutely nothing! Pukanka! Why, well, I do believe it does say that. One lie begets another. That makes sense, but... Is it really a saying back home? I've never heard of it. Yeah, I kind of made that one up. Oh, dude, no, it's totally... It's totally a real saying. Because I think it is. More fatal, you say? Mm-hmm. You're right. Sorry, I just got to suddenly start, start and stop reading. Sometimes I'm just listening to the music or whatever. But we know the witness was at the Inner Sanctum, so... Mr. Emmis, how'd you get there? And from where? I don't know anymore. I teleported, okay? Is that what you want to hear? Without any wind, he couldn't have flown up there from the bottom. My process of elimination, the only starting point that makes any sense is... Your Majesty, I believe I have the answer to your question. To reach the Inner Sanctum, Mr. Imus must have launched himself from here. Ugh. From here, right? Woo-ha! Are you insane? That's where he came from? If he couldn't have come from below, 
The only other option is from above. So you see... Anonymous came down from Royal Penitentiary number 4. Get ready now. Because this is about to get crazy. For there he could have easily reached the Inner Sanctum by parachute. And that means he might have also killed the High Priest. I, I still don't believe that he did it, but man, it sure looks like it right now. Mr. Emmis, were you the third party at the Inner Sanctum? And the one behind the warring to halt the right that the victim received? Was it you we saw in his final memory? Are you the rebel hunter, Lady Kira? It'd be pretty cool if you were, I guess, but... Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, sir, help me out here! I'm afraid I can't. I think he has a good point for a change. You did it? You finally left him speechless. Yeah, speechless said how stupid I am, right? Quiet, you fool. You should use this time to prepare yourself for what is to come. For a fate far worse than hangnail hell awaits you now. I, I, I honestly don't know how it could get any worse than that. But tell me. I just had this really weird flashback of Banjo Tui. The puzzle on the wall. I don't know why. Well done, defense. I must concede this point to you. The witness did, in fact, descend to the inner sanctum from Royal Penitentiary Number Four. Huh? Didn't even put up a fight this time. That's awfully generous of him. But if you're as perceptive as you seem, then surely you've already figured out the riddle. The riddle of Anonymous's true identity. What? His true identity? I'm not sure I know quite yet, but I guess I'll have to answer with something. It would seem I am the only one still in the dark here. Would the defense care to enlighten me? Who is this man we've been calling Anonymous? Witness's true identity is... Oh my god. No profiles here. Uh, he, he's not the plumed Punisher, right? No, that's ridiculous. Wait a minute, no, 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 the wanted poster, here we go. The escaped prisoner. I've been wondering about this for a while, anyway. That's gotta be it. I just went into that page and the first thing I saw was that little statue and I thought, oh my god, could it really be? But nope, is this really him? <laughs> Only now do you realize the truth. Realize the truth, that is. Well, please do share with us your belated insight. Uh, no, I don't want to. What's wrong, Nick? Just say it. Because this isn't going to be very helpful to our case. Really? Are you sure? Unfortunately, I've got no other choice. That scruffy beard and shaggy mane completely threw me off. But it's all becoming clear now. The nighttime base jump from the mountaintop prison. The precision landing at the inner sanctum using only a homemade parachute. He's military. As if his clothes didn't give it away, though. Only a paratrooper, or more precisely, a former paratrooper, could have pulled that off. Witnesses is Dats Arabo, prison escapee and key member of Dirk's rebel group. What you got to say about that? Yep. Got one of them out here in the open now. <laughs> the witness is an escaped prisoner? Precisely. The police have been scouring every corner of the city to no avail. Meanwhile, here he was under our noses the entire time. I didn't think anyone would see through my clever disguise. Dude, you gotta believe me, I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care either, but the witness's charade is not all that has been shattered. Is it, defense? Boy, do I hate this guy. <laughs> 
please recall the defense's own words. What did I say? Wait, what? Oh, uh, well, that would be our other anonymous person. Person with something to hide. The rebel hunter disguised as Lady Kira herself. He claimed that the real killer was the rebel hunter disguised as Lady Kira. Yeah, what's your point? Only this. What if the witness's true identity? Only a paratrooper, or more precisely, a former paratrooper, could have pulled that off. This witness is Dad Serval, prison escapee and key member of Dirk's rebel group. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh yes. He is a rebel and an escaped prisoner. He could have possibly been Lady Kira, mortal enemy of the rebels. No! Oh, man. Put him to death! Ah! Now perhaps the witness will enlighten us to the truth. After all, he has yet to refute any of this. Hoo-ha! I mean, hoo-ha! You got me? I'm the razor-sharp fangs of the Defiant Dragons. That's Airball! Airball! Oh, around the time you guys were talking about there being no wind. But you gotta give me credit for making up all that testimony off the top of my head. Are you prepared to tell us the truth now? Or are you gonna relapse or... I don't know. Well, it's true, I parachuted down to the inner sanctum, but I banged my head on impact and ended up unconscious outside the ritual curtain. In short, all my eyewitness testimony was a big fat lie. <laughs> a big fat lie? No! Oh, by the way, all the time no see, Yudi. What? What? Your Majesty, this filthy rebel belongs in a jail cell. Oh yes, of course. Take him back up there, and make sure he doesn't have any more blankets in his room. He's gonna have to sleep in the cold from now on. Seems you really have forgotten the will of the dragon, huh, Yudi? I haven't. And no dogs of the Grand Regiment are gonna lay a finger on me. <laughs> He's running. Deploy all available resources. I want all units placed on high alert. Damn. He wasn't messing around. The escaped prisoner escaped again. The police force has been placed on high alert. He will be caught before long. An escaped prisoner who's escaped the law again after giving a ton of false testimony. Talk about a troublemaker. He really pulled a number on all of us. What was the point of all that anyway? Well, I can't help but feel the entire episode was an enormous waste of time. Your Majesty. Perhaps it was not as great of a waste as you might believe. What makes you say that, Prosecutor Submani? That's our ball dropped something as he made his escape from these halls. Hmm. 
direct orders from Dirk. Are we sure it's not the other half of that piece of paper we have? From Dirk? The rebel leader? Oh, but we only have a small corner of it. Wait, I remember now. Listen to me now! Your Majesty, I've seen that scrap of paper before. You have? The scrap of paper Dad's air ball dropped as a part of this. Take that! Booyah. And this is? I found it at the scene of the crime. Trying not to gloat over here. It appears to be a copy of the order that Mr. Airball dropped. Airball. If we put the two together, we should be able to read what the order says. Interesting. Oh my! Just what does it say, Mr. Wright? Oh, let me tell you what it says. I can't read Koranese. Never mind. Oh, damn it. Prosecutor Sadmati, if you please. I can't read it either. The ignorant lawyer has not bothered to learn our language. Very well, then. I've been over here for three freaking days, and you're going to be expecting me to know my job. I haven't figured out who to sign up for Skillshare under yet, okay? Sorry. Jeez. I do not understand. What don't you get, Josh? No. <laughs> well, what does it say? Using the lamplights as a landmark, he was to parachute down to the inner sanctum. Upon the rite's completion, he was to don Lady Kira's robes and make his escape. What? That is how he was to escape from prison? So if I were to assume that Mr. Airball was the one that killed the High Priest, maybe it was because Abba and me tried to thwart his escape plan. Oh boy. Oh foul lawyer, I'm afraid that is simply ludicrous. Mm. <clears throat> Wouldn't be the first time, would it? I know how your putrid mind works. Unfortunately for you, however, now that the Rebels' escape plan has been revealed, it is clear that Dad's Ball is not the High Priest's killer. Wait, how do you... how so? Mmm... If only you would use that putrid brain of yours every once in a while. See, that's the thing, like, I would try to think of it, but what I'm scared of... But when you know that they're about to give you the answer in 10 seconds anyway, you kind of just don't even bother to try to think of it. Because, like, what if you think of it at the exact same time as they say it, and then you'll never know whether you thought of it first or not. Is it, like, because of the seance? Or something? That Airball's plan could not have worked without the help of a certain individual. Someone to push him off the side because he wasn't brave enough to jump himself. <laughs> I'm speaking of Abbott in me, of course. Had Death Airball simply donned Lady Kira's robes and made his escape alone, he would have been far too conspicuous. But were he by the High Priest's side... for the whole time... Faithful citizens praying in the plaza would have had no cause to suspect anything. It is therefore unthinkable that Dad's airball was the high priest's killer. Oh, that is a problem. So then you're saying the high priest was a? Oh, I cannot bear to say it. I'm afraid it is so. He numbered among the rebels who threaten our kingdom. Wow. High Priest, a rebel? That made my voice normal, that's such a horrible idea. Let it go and move on. Relax, let go, and sleep. Accept the truth, it is the only way. And that goes double for you, defense. My powers have doubled since we last left. <laughs> Cease your futile battle now. Why should I? Because I will now put the final nail in the coffin of the accused. Now that we have eliminated Dots Arabal from our list of suspects, there is only one person that still remains. The accused, my face. Hold, mm. Hold it right there. Aren't you forgetting something important? Something important? 
Oh, please do explain, defense. Can't end this trial without looking into... The arrow, the murder weapon, the third party. I have to look into the third party. Right? I'm talking about the true identity of the Lady Kira we saw in the Seance Vision. If that wasn't Dax Airball, then who was it? Mm-hmm. That matter has already been resolved. It has? What's he talking about? It is as I have maintained from the start. There was no third party in the Seance Vision. But... There was another Lady Kira there besides my FA. We all saw her. No. You just based that on him turning around as he held it. What the? <laughs> I can't do my finger point! Oh god. Yeah. Her! Oh no! Ugh! That's some scary crap. If... I mean, I know that doesn't really exist, but man, can you imagine? It's time to let it go and move on and relax and let go and sleep. Your old fate has already been sealed, much like your arm. This hardly seems fair. It is quite simple once you consider where the victim and the accused were at the time. Okay, well, we... yeah. If the victim was near the spring, with his back to the accused, would, what would he see ahead? Besides the water itself, there is nothing but the Warbot statue. Ha! That is weird because, because I speculated about that before, but then it's like, oh well, he would have like impaled himself on the statue or something. The accused wanted the false Lady Kira to appear in the Seance Vision. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. The accused, Maya Fey, wanted the false Lady Kira to appear in the Seance Vision so that she could get off. Yeah. But why would the accused want to do something like create a false Lady Kira? To show it to the victim as he was being slain. For what reason would the accused have to fool the victim she was about to kill? It was not the victim she was trying to fool, it was all of us. It's like I said, he's saying the same thing that I was, that he, he's saying that Maya knew about Rafa's ability and tried to use it to get a false seance vision, you know? Suspicion would not fall on the accused if it looked as if another Lady Kira was there. And the defense was foolish enough to fall for it and claim it was a third party in disguise. Are you saying what I think you're saying? <laughs> I am. It was all a cleverly wicked scheme perpetrated by the accused. Don't you dare throw those at her. A scheme in which she sought to use the seance vision to mislead us. How frightening. Ooh. This can't be happening. Well, Phoenix, I'm afraid it is. What a face you are making, defense. I'm surprised you were taking this so hard. I mean, I took it easy on you. After all, I did not clearly state a while... After all, did I not clearly state a while back? That you were chasing after naught but a deluded fantasy. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't even know anymore. And he was just waiting for the most effective moment to spring up. This is an outrage! You took our royal priestess's sacred divination seance 
and used it to commit this most foul and despicable murder. Man, yeah. I'm not surprised they're pissed. No, I did nothing of the sort. Maya. Nick, it's not true. I, I didn't. I'm sorry, Maya. You're screwed. This is so freaking bad right now. Cease this ugly display. Your fate is sealed now that the facts have been exposed. Your Majesty, the time has come to convict this criminal who only seeks to taint the sacred hall. Indeed it is time. Seems this trial is over. Uh, hold it all you want. Does the defense wish to offer up yet another counter-argument or something? I mean, come on, man. How many more times can you possibly do that? <laughs> Uh, the accused is, uh, is not the killer! And, uh, here's why! Now what do I do? Throw all your papers in the air! Pick one out from those papers! Read whatever it says! It would appear that the defense has run out of arguments to make. I thought for sure that that rebel was the killer! The only person with a possible motive, the one dressed as Lady Kira, has vanished! And I got nothing to use against Prosecutor Sabahi's argument. Damn it, I can't lose now. Not like this. Not like this! Very well then, I shall now render my verdict. Not like this, Your Honor! I'm begging you. I'm on my hands and knees. I will lick your shoes. Your shoes! It's time to let it go and move on. <laughs> he really does say that a lot, doesn't he? This trial need not be drawn out any longer. The defense has failed to counter the charge filed by the prosecution, and I say we end this. In accordance with the law, I invoke the DCA against the defense. You two are dead. This court finds it accused my fay. And the defense... So we're dead! What?! Wait a minute! Did I just... Oh, Phoenix, I'm sorry, man. God, he looks so helpless there. Your Majesty, please forgive the interruption, dude, but I, and you're not going to believe this, but... <laughs> uh, what's going on? What is the meaning of this? A body has been discovered! In the Plaza of Devotion, Your Majesty. What's this? A body? What happened now? Not that it matters, because I'm dead! And we found this sticking out of the victim, dude! Why, that's... Lady Kira's Warbot Dagger! The one that we just accused him of using! Or her! Or somebody! She's come to defeat the rebels! Peace! Well, it would seem the dagger that was once lost has now been found. What did the first person in the audience say? Oh, return from the Twilight Realm. Okay. Gotcha. I have one more thing to report, Prosecutor Submati. Yes. This dagger is a replica. What? We're already dead. They're gonna bring us back from the Twilight Realm and kill us again. No! What? Why would Maya's prince be on it? Oh my god, I've already won, and yet evidence is still coming in that proves me right even after the fact. This is unbelievable. I cannot believe it, yet it must be true. You cannot believe it? Something the matter, Prosecutor Sadmati. This trial has run its course, and the accused guilt has been firmly established. However... It would seem the defense was right about one thing. I... I was? You claimed that the murder of the Inner Sanctum had been carried out by the rebel hunter masquerading as Lady Kira. I did say something to that effect, but what of it? Prosecutor Sadmati, are you suggesting what I think you are? I believe the true identity of the rebel hunter who has been masquerading as Lady Kira is none other than the accused, Miss Maya Fey. 
how many more things are you gonna say that she did? You can only kill her once, you know? Oh god, I am... oh my god. I feel about as beaten down right now as these two. I realize how shocking this must seem. Looking back, however, I now realize there was much that pointed to this fact. The rebel hunting Lady Kiro was first sighted about two years ago, and the accused first came to our kingdom two years ago as well. Why, the timing matches perfectly! That's amazing! But there's more. That warning letter was found in the high priest's bedroom three days before the rite. Despite his house being locked up tight that night. So you're gonna say I put it there. Because I passed out. And I, they left me there that night. It's, it is difficult to believe an intruder could have found a way to enter such a secure house. However, the accused was known to come and go freely there. Mainly to prepare for the purification rite. Okay, yeah, besides when I stayed there, that was only like one day before the murder happened. Abbott in me was an important figure with a ton of duties, including training acolytes. He was really kind even to a foreigner like me. He even invited me over to his house when I browsed between training sessions. Man. And with that, I guess the only thing worse than being dead is being dead with the clap. The accused could have easily left the house unlocked for herself without anyone noticing. He's got evidence of the frickin' wazoo here! A lot of it's kinda circumstantial, but... If we assume that the accused was Lady Kira, that more than establishes her motive for killing the High Priest. Yes, the victim was secretly an insurgent bent on helping Dat's Arabal escape, after all. Precisely, that made him a target of Lady Kira's wrath. So you're gonna... Seriously. And after killing the High Priest, she then unleashed her divine justice on another rebel. So it seems the scope of this case has expanded. We now have two murders perpetrated by Miss Maifei, masquerading as Lady Kira. What does it even matter anymore? You got me on one of them. Just kill me and have done with it. If Miss Faye is indeed a serial killer, it would affect the severity of her punishment. How did the second murder happen and she's been in jail all this time? You really think she did the second one? In light of this, I believe the second murder must be investigated before we can proceed. Well, maybe that's what they're saying, is like, well, the second one couldn't have been her. My fate, I hereby charge you with the second murder. <laughs> okay, never mind. I guess I did do it. Damn. May your defiled soul feel the weight of your sins. A new murder charge on top of a guilty verdict. It seems the defense will live to see one more day. Talk about hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Come tomorrow, a far more terrible punishment awaits you. I hereby suspend these proceedings so that the second murder may be investigated. So we are going into investigation day two here, aren't we? Until the conclusion of this new investigation, this court is adjourned. Goodbye and good riddance. Jeez. To be continued, holy crap, dude! Oh! That is probably the most helpless I think we've ever been. Like, we literally got a guilty verdict. Any time that that has ever happened before, like, I think it's happened one other time, but then it was, like, interrupted. Somebody came running in, you know, and said, oh, wait, you know, I got some evidence or something here. But this time, he slapped the verdict down, and then we got accused of another one on top of that. Two. A second one. No, not a second one. Ugh. Save the game. Just save over our own death. Again and again and again. I guess next time on Phoenix Wright, Spirit of Justice, we're gonna go die. 
or maybe we can find enough evidence to prove whatever and then get this other guilty verdict overturned. But uh, it's not looking good. Not looking good at all.